This is John Zimmerman with the Active Towns Initiative. Each year at CNU, I attempt to capture the spirit of exploration, which is a big part of the Congress and its many experiential tours. I hope you enjoy this ride back to the future. We're basically going to be showing that this tour is the pretty unique, I think, kind of linear transect of how Savannah developed, right? It started with English colonists on the banks of the river just a few blocks that way uh, in the 1730s. They set up, they've got this amazing master plan from General James Oglethorpe that laid out all these original squares and the street grid that we still very much enjoy. And then as you go south, the city basically developed in this very linear fashion. And so every five to 10 blocks, we are literally traveling forward in time and seeing the changes in American planning, in architecture, uh, in streetscape design. two very high speed dangerous lanes going one direction and the city in 2012 converted the curbside lane to on street parking and this pretty nice bike lane. You can see a kind of interesting change with the sidewalk here where they're not there's no uh, grass strip I don't know the actual term for it but the tree lawn yes thank you way back because it was the curb appeal, right? You would only see it from a motor vehicle, so you didn't want it to be too close. Um, and you get to ranches. So this village, I use it very ironically, right? I mean, where we started the ride was an actual village. And here's one in name that's missing every detail of being a village. So we've got this surface lot, big surface lot over there, another huge surface parking lot on the other side of the street. But the city absolutely refuses to get rid of this diagonal front end parking or convert it to uh, you know, parallel parking, which would free up enough space so that the bike lane would be continuous. here with the orange door and the two windows. That's 1925. And it used to extend all the way out. We've had a canopy and under the black truck is where the gas uh, gas pumps used to be. 1930, they added these two, uh, the door and the window, where they wanted more of a service station feel. Seems about 1950, 1960, they added this section, which was just an open carport. This got closed in and they added this L here at the back. Uh, by the time I bought the building, this was still a carport and there was a uh, pit in the middle so you could drive your car over ramps. That's how they did the repairs. This wall had partially collapsed and termites had eaten that entire part of the building. So that whole part got reframed, the roof got all rebuilt, and then this part got reimagined to look like the historic part of the building. We rehab a bike for them, give them the bike, lock, light, helmet, reflective vest, safety training. We do about 100 bikes a year. And as I think Brent mentioned, we have the, the highest bicycle commuting rate in, in Georgia, and there are a number of factors. One is we've done a great job of keeping the ground flat, as you've all noticed, and that makes it a place where people of all ages and abilities can ride bikes. Uh, and we also have a very high poverty rate, so people use their bikes to get around. We have plenty of elective cyclists and stu uh, students who ride bikes. For a lot of people in our town, though, bikes are the way to get around. So we see people, if we stood out here long enough, we'd see people ride by with bikes with the brakes disabled, like Matthew's bike is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and so so our, our aim is to get people on bikes that are safe and uh, dependable so that they can use the bike as a, uh, a literal vehicle to get around, but also a vehicle to uh, for a better life. So. The Standard Oil gas station is now home to new standard cycles. We finished off the tour back at beautiful Forsyth Park. A big thanks heading out to Brent, Matthew, and John for a great tour. We hope you've enjoyed the CNU Tour profile video. This has been an Active Towns Culture of Activity production. For more information on the Congress for the New Urbanism, please visit cnu.org. This is John Zimmerman signing off and wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.